So today I have an MP5 class setup for you guys to use, man. I love the MP5. I would say it's one of the best SMGs in Modern Warfare right now. And as you can see, it's level 57. So I definitely was able to play around with all of the attachments and I definitely did some weapon testing as well just to see how effective this weapon is at certain ranges because we all know SMGs in this game are not that great compared to the ARs because of the map design. The map design forces players to use ARs because they're more dominant at certain ranges. But when you're using something like an SMG such as the MP5, you are able to rush around a little bit more because you have that mobility and speed on your side. However, you do have to play a certain way let's go over the attachments that make this mp5 class setup really really good we got here the barrel and it's called the subsonic integral suppressor so basically look at all the pros you get man that's absolutely insane i was actually pretty surprised when i saw how many pros there were versus cons you get the sound suppression to stay as stealthy as possible you stay invisible on the enemy compass and at the same time enemies aren't able to really hear your weapon as much when you're firing number two no visible tracers number three your aim down sight speed is improved number four you have no enemy skulls when killing your enemy so this is very huge and this is why I actually like this class setup really well because I'm a stealthy type of player I like to flank a lot and I like to remain undetected so being a player that loves to flank and stay as stealthy as possible this is very important because as soon as you kill enemies the enemy is able to track where you are because they see the skulls appearing around the map and they say hey my teammate just died I need to direct my attention here but with the mp5 and this attachment right here this is definitely going to help your cause in being as stealthy as possible and I definitely do know a difference when i'm running around the map and i'm just taking down people a lot of the time the enemies don't even realize what's going on and i'm able to get more kills because of that that's why i really like the subsonic integral suppressor and it's definitely a must on this weapon let's go ahead and uh, check out the other attachment the f tac collapsible stock so this one increases your movement speed and your aim down sight speed so of course speed is everything especially it being an smg by default it does have a very quick mobility already as is but you can't never have too much of it so that's why adding this on is super important especially when you're aiming down sights and you want to be as mobile as possible this is very important the cons are that your aiming stability and your recoil control is compromised however the recoil control i don't even really notice too much of a difference in the recoil being reduced as far as the aiming stability goes i believe that's only when you're aiming down sights uh, i wouldn't really worry too much about it but the simple fact that it increases your movement speed and aim down sight speed it definitely puts you one step ahead of the enemy so moving on to the perk so this is just personal preference i like to see the enemy nameplates on the map in modern warfare it's really difficult to see enemy players because of how well the characters blend in with the maps and just the environment in general so being able to see their enemy nameplate above the player's body is going to expose their location and it's going to help you make better decisions in game it'll help me analyze exactly where i need to go on the map due to being able to see where the enemies are because of their nameplates so something as simple as that is going to help you in the long run and that's basically what i'm trying to say but of course again this is personal preference it's all up to you you can use whatever perk you want so moving on to the rear grip now i've talked about this in previous videos before and i will say it again the stippled grip tape is definitely a crutch attachment in my opinion because it increases your aim down side speed as well as your sprint to fire speed because how many of us have been running around the map and we've gotten into engagements where we just die first and the reason why is because you're probably not running this attachment right here and once you put this on you will notice a big difference you're going to be able to win those gunfights a lot more frequently versus when you didn't have it on so this is very important for those aggressive type of players especially and just moving around the map in general in case you see that random camper sitting in the corner you want to be able to turn on that dude really quickly and have the upper hand so stippled grip tape is a must and a crutch perk all right so moving on so this attachment right here is what makes this class setup super beast as you can see it increases your damage and it increases the range as well now the cons are the fire rate and the aiming recoil control 
Uh, those cons are not really anything to worry too much about. I did do some testing. I wanted to see exactly how well does this attachment work and is it actually viable? Does it really increase your damage? With no attachments, it takes about three shots to kill from five meters, which is something that was predictable. And then it takes about four shots to kill from 10 to 15 meters, then five shots to kill at 20 meters and six shots to kill from 25 to 50 meters. I didn't even decide to test anything beyond that because it's just impractical for a submachine gun to even be competing at that range in general. And now as you can see, you know, it takes a lot of shots to kill from even just at 20 meters. So just the gun stock itself without any attachments, it's not that good. Now, if you put on the 10 millimeter auto 30 round mags, you are going to get three shots to kill at five meters, but you get four Four shots to kill from 10 to 20 meters now this is a lot better and then you got five shots to kill from 25 to 45 meters and six shots to kill at 50 meters so the shots to kill is reduced somewhat but it actually is a viable attachment to use on this weapon if you're trying to maximize its ability to just destroy people now if you really want to reduce that shots to kill even further i would highly recommend putting on the field upgrade called stopping power and it's a two shot kill from five meters and three shots to kill from 10 to 55 meters let me repeat that again 10 to 55 meters it's a three shot kill from 10 to 55 meters this is absolutely crazy super overpowered especially for an smg because even at that range you're still able to drop people from 10 to 55 meters so if you think about that that's pretty dang good so i would highly recommend doing the combination of these 10 millimeter auto 30 round mags plus stopping power so once you get stopping power make sure you equip that bad boy right away and take advantage of that three shot kill all right so moving on to the secondary you can use whatever you want it's all up to you more often than not i actually don't even really use my secondaries unless i really need to because most of the time I'm always replenishing my ammo for my primary weapon, which we will get into the perks next. For the perks right here, I'm using EOD, but you could also use scavenger. It kind of just depends on what type of map you're playing on or what type of game mode. Certain game modes and maps that you're playing on, it does require a different order of perks, especially like on Shoot House. You definitely want to run EOD first. It's more important because staying alive long enough to be able to get all of your other perks is going to be important. Now, if you keep dying to Claymores and C4s, then obviously you're not going to get to your next streak because you don't run EOD. Now, you can also run Scavenger as well. Scavenger is another personal favorite of mine if you want to go that route so you can replenish your ammo right away and stick to using the same weapon. Then for perk two, I'm using Ghost. Never ever run without Ghost. If the enemy calls in a UAV and your teammates are running Ghost and you're the only one without Ghost, then chances are you're probably going to be an easy target and you can consider yourself dead already. So always use Ghost. It's a crutch perk in my opinion. You cannot run without it. Getting UAVs are relatively easy in this game and you are going to be an easy target if you're not running ghosts. For perk three, I have the perk called tracker on. This one literally shows enemy footprints. All you got to do is follow it and it will lead you to the enemy, which equals an easy kill. There's nothing really much more to say about it. It's just super easy. And this is very helpful for players who like to move around the map and flank or take the outskirts of the map you know you'll see random footprints somewhere and you'll be like hey there's an enemy right there you know it shows you places of the map where you wouldn't even think that there were enemies and this could actually potentially save your life as well so that's why i highly recommend tracker intel is everything in this game and if seeing somebody's footprints means that i'm gonna be having the upper hand over the enemy then by all means i'm all for it so if you don't want to use this one you could always use battle hardened or tune up tune up will help you earn your field upgrades a lot quicker and battle Harden is going to help you reduce the strength of enemy flash, stun, and EMP effects. And we know how annoying that is. So, you know, that's just something to consider. So then you notice that I'm using the perk specialist right here. Now to activate it, you press square just like this. So I'm going to press it again and you can pick whatever perks you want to earn at certain kills. As you can see, two kills, I get the scavenger, four kills, it's hardline and five kills. It will be battle hardened because I'm running hardline right here. 
uh so okay so then after this you do get all perks in the game which is absolutely cool and it puts you at a really big advantage over the enemies but yeah that's also obviously an option if you don't want to use kill streaks moving on to lethals i've been having a lot of fun with the c4 i just like to toss it in midair and just like detonate it on enemies trying to capture a flag or if i ran out of ammo and i turned the corner and i want to toss a c4 just to get my back and kill the enemy i can do that as well or you see somebody camping on a window toss it in that window boom it's all good all right that's why i like the c4 really feel like the claymores aren't really as effective anymore they don't really seem to have the same range uh, as they used to when the game first came out but that's all right man if you don't want to go with claymores definitely roll with the c4 get used to using it it's really fun when you're just tossing it around it at people but yeah this is all personal preference by the way you can use whatever lethal you want and same thing goes for tactical you can use whatever you want but i'm personally using stim shot because i want to make sure that i'm able to heal myself up very quickly before i get back into the gunfight or i'm trying to flee a gunfight so that i don't get shot in the back and die one shot because i'm still healing and recovering so that's why stim shot is very important especially if you're an aggressive player and you're running around the map and you're lone wolfing it most of the time such as myself then this is very very important but again tactical is all up to you what you want to use and according to your play style all right so uh that about uh wraps it up for today's video if you guys did enjoy the video, definitely drop a like on it. Let me know what you think of the class setup. Let me know what your setup is personally. I'm curious to see what you're running on the MP5. This is a really great stealth class setup. I love it. And make sure you subscribe if you're new around here. Turn on notifications, by the way, so you never miss another video from me. And I'll see you guys in the next video, man. Peace.